Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and this will be a review and breakdown of the second trailer of The Boys Season 3. Now you can check out my review of the first trailer which was released a couple of months ago and I'll leave some links within the description. Now there may also be spoilers for the previous two seasons throughout this video so just beware when going into this overall review. Now Season 3 of The Boys is due to be released on Amazon on June the 3rd, 2022. So we'll get straight into it then and I think overall this is a very action packed and explosive trailer showing lots of promising elements for the upcoming season. We started off the trailer with the first couple of scenes where we're very much looking at a Homelander who's assumedly very unhinged which is kind of ironic because we could say that there's always been something mentally wrong with Homelander ever since the start of the show. That's very much the concept of the character that he's an egotistical, insecure, corrupted version of Superman. So quite how they're going to paint Homelander being even more crazy than what he already has been will be very interesting to see. We see in the earlier parts of the trailer where he's talking to media, stating that he fell in love with the wrong girl. I assume he's talking about Stormfront, who, as we all know, they have very much had a relationship, much more of a casual relationship, I'd say, throughout season two. We see later on scenes that we saw from the first trailer where he's milking the cow, he's lying in bed with some blood beside him. There's some other scenes where he's freaking out, he's running around shirtless, just really seemingly losing all of his composure whatever composure he had throughout the character that we've seen so far throughout the show so it will be interesting to see what exactly has triggered this very much unhinged state of the character is it the longing to see his son ryan who remember appeared in season two we had that very tragic conclusion at the end when ryan had to kill his own mother in order to save her from storefront and they very much bargained as a way to protect Ryan from Homelander that if he came anywhere near him, they would release footage of Homelander killing all of those passengers off the plane, if you remember, from season two. Now, suppose the other big standout element throughout this trailer was the emergence of Soldier Boy, who's played by Jensen Eccles, who we all know primarily from the Supernatural show. And as we see from this show, he's very much the concepts idea of a Captain America variant who yearns very much to join the Seven from the comic books. We see the earliest scenes here where he's very much battering someone to death with a shield. If you look at the shield design it's very similar to what we saw from Captain America especially from Infinity War and to be honest Jensen Echo himself with the bearded look very much looks a riff of the Chris Evans version that we saw from Avengers Infinity War. Now the trailer does give the impression that they very much want to use Soldier Boy in order to try and combat Homelander who of course we assume will go completely off the rails. Now this could just be clever editing as we see the various scenes where they're holding up the file of Soldier Boy. So will Soldier Boy go on to become one of the main antagonists of season 3 very much like Stormfront was in season 2 we'll wait and see but again it brings a lot of interesting dynamics throughout the story. When we catch up with the boys themselves, it initially looked as if they finally settled down back to some sort of state of normalcy after having all of their charges cleared from the end of season two. We see the like of Mother's Milk back of his family and having birthday parties. We see that Huey is very much working in office with Victoria Newman as what we saw at the end of season two and it'll be very interesting to see how prominent a role she has throughout this particular season. How much powerful will her influence stretch out politically and will she even take on the Velt International Organization? Will Huey discover her own secret methods and will that be the reason why he joins up with the boys? We see in later scenes that he does reunite again with Billy. And that leads us to probably what's the biggest development throughout this third season is that we will finally see the boys inhibit superpowers now i know this was hinted very much so at one of the episodes midway through i believe season two when they had to take some sort of substance of the compound fee as they were cornered and trapped but the powers only lasted a couple of hours i believe now it's very much suggested here that when they get the powers that it will only last for 24 hours and we already saw this in the first trailer and the promotional material where we see billy butcher's eyes lighting up as he's very much got the same heat vision that what we saw with homelander and we'll also get a very interested narrative as to how will the boys deal with superpowers? Will they be corrupted in the same way that the Seven are? There's that line spoken, I believe, by Mother's Milk when he's encountering Billy, stating that the reason they got into this in the first place was to stop superheroes going rogue. And Billy replies that this will even up the playing field. So will we see a story arc where Billy eventually gets consumed or addicted? All corrupted indeed by the superpowers that he's managed to inherit. We go back to an early scene throughout the trailer where we very much established that Billy has been on a straight and narrow. So I believe that's the kind of story arc that we will be seeing. That Billy will start off in a good place, get absorbed by having the superpowers and maybe we'll see some sort of tragic events towards the end of the season 3. And as I said with my review of the first trailer... I'm not quite sure if I'd want to see the boys permanently have superpowers. I think a lot of the tension and the jeopardy 
is generated because they don't have superpowers and they're taking on very superpowered beings. But if you level the playing field, very much an example of having Billy versus Homelander, if he's got the same power levels, then I think you can take that tension away because the boys are very tough, gritty combatants who would, I believe would more than hold their own if they had the similar same powers as what we saw with the Seven. It also seems like the other members of the Seven won't really be working with Homelander but very much working against him as we saw throughout this trailer we saw Maeve passing over the compound V to Billy we see Starlight recognizing that Homeland has gone crazy we had that other moment where we see Homelander grabbing a train and his eyes lighting up so at the moment it will almost seem that there will be some sort of internal motivations from the other members of the seven to take down Homelander and as we know, there are some spare seats on the team. We saw in another scene we, with the Deep walking back with Homelander. As we all know, he's very eager to come back to the Seven. He was turned down at the end of Season 2 as there was only one entry left back for A-Train. So will he come back and join forces with Homelander and uncover the others trying to betray him? So there are lots of interesting dynamics alongside lots of action and spectacle and lots of gory violence as what we've become accustomed to throughout the tone of the show. So I think overall it was a very good trailer, quite long as well, two and a half minutes, but there was definitely a lot there to get me very excited as to where they will go in terms of this third season. Now I've always found the boys to be entertaining with some semblance of thematic commentary and satire. It's not the most perfect superhero show. I mean, again, we could say that it's very much an anti-superhero show. It's very much by design a deconstructive take. But I think you have compelling performances from very high calibre cast alongside lots of spectacle and intense gritty R-rated violence. Definitely could indicate that The Boys Season 3 could be perhaps the best of the entire series. So that's my overall feelings and thoughts and review and breakdown of the second trailer of The Boys Season 3. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as usual, when I cover television shows, I will provide reviews of the opening episode if there are any standout episodes throughout the season and of course the overall season reviews so look out for those within the channel in the future if i have time i may do a quick review of seasons one and two in preparation for the third season so look out for those in the future as well if there are any other superhero shows or superhero movies that you'd like to see me cover and review within the channel then drop me a suggestion within the comments and if i've seen that material then i'll also provide some commentary on that content as well Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay in safe distances, and I will see you very, very soon.